this is the Halloween trick or treat. Worst treats tier list. I don't know how to name this, right? That was a very awkward name. But basically, here's how it goes, right? On Halloween, when you either go trick or treating or used to go trick or treating, there's a lot of things that you don't like. Uh, whether they be a specific candy, something that's not candy related at all, all that, right? I got my chat to submit what they deemed as the worst candies or worst treats. The, wor the reason I say treats is because some things that you get on Halloween aren't even candy related. Uh, but I got my chat to submit what they deemed as the worst treats to receive on Halloween. I also looked up the worst ranked treats uh, that you can receive on Halloween, and I compiled basically the top 20-something uh, together for a massive list, okay? I also am not doing this in S through F format because that gets kind of confusing, right? If this is a tier list about the worst treats, something that's S tier would be the worst or the best. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, right? So uh, because this is the worst trick-or-treats treats tier list, we're going to be rating them in the following categories. <clears throat> the best category, I actually like getting these, right? Something that you're not pissed about if you get that in, in, in your trick-or-treat bag. I don't mind it. It's useful for trades, right? Kind of C tier, somewhere in the middle where you could use it for trading other kids for for different candies, right? It's, it has some value. Not a lot, but you could tag it on, maybe maybe throw in a Reese's Cup and dots, and then you could get something that, that you'll like in return, right? Throwing it out when I get home, so utterly useless. You're not going to use this. You're not going to eat it. It's not useful for trades. And then I'm egging their house, meaning you hate this. Why the fuck would they ever give this to you on Halloween? Uh, that's fucking annoying, right? That's the format. We got a lot of things here. We have apples, jelly bean uh, jellies, or jelly belly jelly beans, pencils, razor blades, mm. double bubble bubble gum, dots, Oscar Ma Okay. I have an Oscar Mayer gummy hot dog in this list. I, I found it at Walmart. Nobody submitted this. I just... I was befuddled when I saw that they Oscar Mayer makes fucking gummy hot dogs. So we're going to review that because that's probably a pretty bad fucking candy. Black licorice, Whoppers, juice boxes, any of the Laffy Taffy flavors. We'll get into that when we get there. Uh, some are worse than others. Happy Cola gummies, Smarties, unnamed hard candies like grandma candies. This specific style of mint. Candy corn, circus peanuts, red hots, animal crackers, fruit chews, raisins, Welch's fruit snacks, hot tamales, popcorn, toothbrush, pretzels, Halloween-themed pretzels, Tootsie Rolls, and hot chocolate. Are we ready to get into this, chat? I have the majority of these things that we're going to review in person. Some of the things like razor blades, I don't. You know, we're just going to have to rank that. But what do y'all want to start with? Let's start with something that's more middle of the road. Fruit snacks. I don't know how y'all... Normally, y'all do S through F for this. You could just really put W or L, realistically. I would say that getting fruit snacks on Halloween, while it is not a candy, and that kind of makes it an L, they're good. Like, I'm not upset. If somebody gives me fruit snacks. Now, I will say the brand of fruit snack matters. If it's like the Mott's, the Moats gummies or however the fuck you say it. Fruit snacks specifically like Welch's, all that shit. Some are better than others. Or like the Scooby-Doo gummies. But they're good, right? I've gotten these a lot when I used to go trick-or-treating. I would not say anything's really wrong with them. I'm not going to be as happy getting a fruit snack as I would, like, a Reese's cup or a Kit Kat bar. But I would say it's useful for trades. I would say it has value, right? Throwing it out when I get home, I'm not going to throw them out because I'm going to eat them. I wouldn't say I don't mind it. I would say I don't mind it. I would say I'm not upset about getting these. But I will say because they're not candy, that is kind of annoying. And I'm going to put that as it's useful for trades. 
Even though they're probably as unhealthy as candy. All right. Next. We'll go for this one. No name hard candies, right? Really depends what flavor these no name hard candies are, right? I don't even know what this is. I think this might be butterscotch, right? But it really depends what you get. Because you could get one of those, like, gross-ass lemon-flavored hard candies. Or, like, red, like, just, like, like whatever, red or orange. Like, an orange-flavored hard candy is pretty fucking disgusting. This butterscotch one is good, but I would say for the most part... When you're getting unnamed hard candies from trick-or-treating, you're not getting butterscotch. You're probably going to be getting something that's disgusting. Uh, and you have the sketchy factor. Getting a, a, a loosely wrapped candy. Are your parents even letting you keep those, right? That's, that's also getting thrown into question. If you're a second grader, <laughs> looking back at when I used to be trick-or-treating, you're probably not... I gotta spit this out. You're probably not gonna be getting this candy and then being able to keep it. I wouldn't say I'm gonna egg their house, right? I'm not that upset, but I'm definitely throwing it out when I get home. I'm not eating these. Maybe if it was butterscotch, but if I'm getting these, just a broad-ranged general hard candy, loose, loose, kind of looks like it might have been unwrapped, uh, I'm going to throw that bitch out out of fear, number one. And I'm not really looking forward to that. If I'm going to eat something sugary, I'd rather eat something that's better. We'll do apples here. Where are we going to put apples? I don't have an apple with me. Just be I have an apple, but I didn't want to take one bite out of an apple and then throw it out. Because <laughs> that's a fucking waste. Uh, so we can just... I know what an apple tastes like. I don't really think we need to do a fucking impromptu apple tasting. Uh, I'm egging their house. You're going to egg their house over an apple. You'd be more mad. Okay. Really, though, an apple is one of the, one of, if not the sketchiest shit you could be given. Because how hard is it to put a syringe of some chemical into an apple and have no idea what, what's in the fucking, what's in the goddamn apple, right? Like, if I'm going to kill kids through trick-or-treating... I might give them an apple with cyanide in it and they'll probably fucking die and it's not really traceable, right? So I don't, I, THC filled apples. Okay, that's all, that, you know, that honestly might be worse than putting cyanide in the apple. You're literally drugging children. <laughs> You're literally drugging children at that point. Uh, but I, I don't know. It, I would say it depends on what apple. If they give me some fucking Granny Smith bullshit, I'm going to egg their fucking house. If they give me a good honey crisp, you know, I might I might keep it. But I would say taking any loose vegetable, or not loose vegetable, loose fruit from a stranger, probably gonna result in that I'm egging their house. This is why would you ever do this? You know, let's do Smarties now, since we already have them out. <laughs> Smarties, after we just had that catastrophe opening this goddamn thing. Uh, I used to snort these in middle school. Uh, I used to crush them up or I would smoke them. You know, you crush up the Smarties, you'd breathe it in. You'd fucking inhale, exhale that shit. You'd feel like a badass, right? You'd be like, oh, it's like I'm smoking a cigarette. It's nothing like smoking a cigarette, dude. Nothing. They're just sweet chalk candy. Honestly, that's all they are. A sweet chalk candy. A bit too sweet. I would say, and correct me if I'm wrong here. Sweet tarts are the better version of Smarties. Smarties is the Walmart version of sweet tarts. Sweet tarts are actually less sweet, but have a better tang. They're harder. You can also just kind of like, you could, you could chew them. You could suck on them for a while. Whereas like Smarties, you kind of have to chew them and they like disintegrate. They're also the cheapest fucking candy that you could probably buy. As I said, a bag of Smarties is $7, and you get about fucking 300 of the individual sticks. 
they have a fun factor to them in the idea of you being able to snort them, you know. But overall, they're mid. I would not say I would throw them out, though. Where are Smarties? Here. Are they useful for trades, though? Would any of you guys trade for Smarties? I would honestly say I don't mind it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I would rather have Welch's fruit snacks than Smarties. I would say, is this is this a fair is this a fair swap? Because I have to compare them to each other as well, not just on the list in general. I would be more happy about getting fruit snacks than I would Smarties. I think Smarties. Ah, God, I don't I don't know if anybody would would accept a trade for Smarties. Did y'all trade candy uh, when you went trick-or-treating? That was like a big thing. That was one of my favorite things to do with my friends was you would all go trick-or-treating and you would trade, like everybody has their different candy tastes, right? Obviously there's a few candies that everybody loves and they would never get rid of, but some of your friends might like fucking gummy worms more than you like something else and you would swap them, right? But I don't think anybody's really gonna trade for Smarties. I think they're, they're kind of useless. I would maybe eat them, but I'm going to have to throw them in the throwing it out when I get home category because I might let them sit there for a year and, and just not ever eat them. Now, this is not what you would normally get, right? This is a box of Whoppers. Normally, when you go trick-or-treating, you're going to be getting uh, one of those little mini snack-sized uh, ones with three Whoppers in it. Uh, which is just really f just fucking skimping out on that, right? Just being cheap. You only get three in a th in three in a little thing. Honestly, I'm gonna say Whoppers are the middest candy I have ever had. I think Whoppers are the definition of mid. And that's not an insult. They're a definitive C tier. I'm not upset. Like, I'll eat them. They they give my brain the reward factor of sugar and chocolate. But <laughs> I'm never choosing them. I'm never going to go to a store and buy a Whopper. I'm never... I'm never I, this is the first time I've ever bought a box of Whoppers. Even at a movie theater, I've never fucking got these. They're, I'll eat them. If people have them, I would take a Whopper. I'm not going to bitch about it. I'll eat them. They're pretty good when you put them in the freezer, too. I would trade them. And for that, re I'm going to get rid of them. Out I know people like them. This is my own personal take here, right? I think I've had some pretty objective takes. This is a subjective take. I think it's useful for trades. I think you can trade Whoppers pretty well. I think, I think you could get, get rid of them. People would accept them for other things. And if I'm, if I'm really running low on my candy stash from Halloween, I'll eat the fucking Whoppers, right? I'm not going to let them go to waste. If I can't trade them, I'll eat them, right? If I can't trade them, it goes to an I don't mind it. But an I don't mind it is I would pick them over other things. This is probably one of the last things I'm eating, but I will eat them. So for that reason, they're there. Now, have, has anyone here ever had these? I This is the one item I kind of threw into this list. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever gotten this on Halloween because you're not going to hand out loose gummy wieners and parents will probably fear you <laughs> if you start handing out gummy hot dogs to people <laughs> with no wrapping. But... Motherfucker. See, this is why I have scissors. I wanted to rate them because of how outlandish it was. They were in the candy aisle when I was shopping for this. And as I stared at them, I said, no way somebody put hot dogs in the fucking candy aisle. Because you know when you're in the grocery store? Actually, I don't know if you guys can relate to this because you guys probably don't grocery shop. <laughs> but you'll get something and sometimes you'll be like, nah, I don't actually want this. And so you'll put it just in a random aisle. So you just you just put them in the closest shelf next to you. That's what I thought was going on here. And I was like the disrespect for them to ruin these hot dogs. But uh, then I took a closer look. Uh, and they're... 
they're also really sticky. So <laughs> you know the SpongeBob Krabby Patties that you used to be hype as shit to get when you were like five? It's those, but with a hint of plastic. <laughs> those are so good. No, they are not, bro. Oh my God. No. No, bro. I'm throwing out this whole thing. That's disgusting. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. I feel like I'd have to egg their house more than the apples. God, dude. No one would ever hand that out. But I just had to throw it in the list because of how fucking sheerly disgusting it is. Oh my god. It just it just tasted like plastic. Toothbrush. Specifically any Halloween themed tooth toothbrush, some people do. Like if they have like a Colgate like pumpkin themed one. Um that I feel I feel like this is an obvious I'm egging their house, right? Like, you're you're just trying to do a little bit. Like, any dentist would be handing this out uh, because they realize that, like, candy's bad and it causes tooth decay. So they're going to hand you a fucking toothbrush. Uh, that would bother me. Uh, I already get toothbrushes when I go to my goddamn dentist. They hand me a little free one. You know, they give you a little basket and you get to pick which toothbrush you want. I don't need your fucking toothbrush on Halloween, buddy. I want goddamn candy. Somebody said L take. Shut the fuck up. I'm egging their house when they give me a toothbrush. Next, pencils. Specifically, Halloween themed pencils. Not breaking my thumb on that one. Useless. Useless. I don't know about egging their house. Because I might actually use the pencil. Now, actually, you know why I wouldn't use the pencil? Because any any wrapped pencil shreds wrong. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? When you are trying to sharpen a pencil that has like a design wrap, it's always A, the lowest quality pencil you could ever have, and the, the fucking lead just falls out of it as, as you're trying to use it. It's very fragile. And it, it it clogs the fucking uh, pencil sharpener every time. Every time. I Honestly, I have to throw it in egg, egg their house. I have to. I would say it's worse than a toothbrush. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. It's I'm going to go that order. I would be most upset about the, the pencils than the gummy hot dogs, toothbrush, apples. Because the pencils are just utterly useless. It's like giving me a, a fucking wall, a, a downgraded pencil. If they hand me just a, a regular number two, I'd probably be like, okay, I'll throw it out. Actually, no, I'd probably use it. It's not useful for trades, but I'd use it. Haribo Happy Colas. Now, I haven't had these in years, but I don't remember disliking them. A lot of you guys are saying, ew. But I don't remember. I mean, I gotta see. Ooh. They're weird. It tastes like it tastes like Coca-Cola extract. Not like your it doesn't really taste like Coke at all. It tastes like if you just strained all the water out of Coke and just and what was left, like that goop. You emulsified into a gummy and then handed to somebody. They're not awful. I would say they're an acquired taste, though. And I'll also I'll also say here, most gummy candies are a mess. Honestly, most gummy candies are a mess. That's not bad. I would say they're useful for trade. I'm not gonna throw them out. If somebody handed me Haribo Happy Colas, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get rid of them. I would say they're good for trades. All right, let's do Razor Blade. Um. Honestly, a myth that razor blades give you, uh, or, ra or not razor blades give you. Yeah, razor blades give you cuts. That's a myth. No. Um, it's a myth that razor blades are put in candies. 
Uh, it's probably happened maybe one to ten times ever. The idea that people are just shoving razor blades in candies, that's not a myth. Are razor blades actually put in candies? How many children have been seriously injured or died as a result of a razor blade in candy? The answer, given the available data on the topic, seems to be no one. There have been four cases of suspected tampering related to Halloween candy reported to the Canadian Food Inspection Agency between 2008 and 2019. Two of those were reported to police. No illnesses or deaths were associated. You know why? Because you're going to be able to fucking tell if somebody shoved the goddamn razor blade in your fucking Twix bar. It's going to be pretty fucking obvious, right? You got to be a goddamn idiot to not see a fucking razor blade in your Reese's cup. Uh, razor blades. Circus peanuts. Now, have you guys ever had a circus peanut? Probably not because they have uh, kind of fallen off. Uh, in all honesty, I never really thought they were on. Uh, they don't even really sell them at stores. I had to find these on Amazon, uh, and they were pretty hard to get a hold of, and also the most expensive candy on this list, uh, sheerly because I had to have them shipped, uh, and, uh, no one likes them, uh, and they don't really, uh, have anybody making them. If you don't know what a circus peanut is, it's supposed to look kind of like a packing peanut. And it's a marshmallow-esque candy, right? It doesn't really have the same consistency as a marshmallow, but it is, it has a little give. And it, its initial bites taste like a really bad gum, and then it dissolves into your mouth. It's effectively like an orange-ish flavored gum that dissolves as you chew it. Uh, they're fucking disgusting. Uh, no one really gives them out anymore. I, I obviously know why, uh, because they're fucking foul. There are a few, uh, genuine psychos that like eating circus peanuts, but for the most part, uh, they're, they're genuinely just disgusting. They have no marshmallow, ca uh, texture or consistency. They dissolve in your mouth as you eat them as if it's like cotton candy, uh, but it has actually terrible flavor and tastes artificial. I'm egging their house. I would say it's honestly worse. I would say it's still not as bad as a pencil because you're giving me some sort of food uh, or something of value, whereas circus peanuts, no one's going to trade for them, uh, and they're fucking gross. Animal crackers. A controversial one. It's not candy, but a lot of people like animal crackers. I would say they're pretty bland. Uh, I'm still going to try them, even though I, I know what animal crackers taste like. I would say they're a bit mid. I mean, we'll obviously see. Now, what is fun about animal crackers is uh, obviously in the name. Uh, they're little animals, you know? And you can, you can fucking... Ah! Bite their head off, right? They're kind of sweet. And they're not really that unhealthy. Comparable to most things. Honestly... I don't mind them. And what's really weird is the things that are our highest are not even candy right now. Now, if you asked 10-year-old me, I might have ranked these lower. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm rating them as current Joe Bart, 21-year-old Joe Bart. Uh, if I somehow got these, even though I haven't been trick-or-treating in fucking 10 years. I don't dislike them. If somebody handed them to me, I'd eat them. I would say they're not useful for trades because nobody's going to trade for animal crackers. Just as really nobody's going to trade for fruit snacks. But I don't mind them. They're not bad. Black licorice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, one of the worst rated ones. My chat listed this almost more than anything. Uh, as well as... Most websites uh, rated these pretty low because they're much worse than the regular Twizzlers. They smell very bad. Uh, I don't really know how to describe the liquor, the black licorice smell. More just bitter.
Okay. The aftertaste is disgusting. <laughs> but. I would rather have a regular Twizzler. I was expecting them to be much worse. Because I haven't had... See, chat, when was the last time y'all had black licorice? See, now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm thinking about this. When was the last time y'all had black licorice? Like, years ago. It's not that bad. It's making me a little nauseous. <laughs> I don't understand how I'm somewhat enjoying them. <laughs> but... They're making me feel a little, a little queasy. It might be the gummy hot dog starting to digest. Yeah, no, the breath feel is disgusting. I'm tasting it in my mouth, but like as you're chewing it, it kind of just tastes like a bad Twizzler. <laughs> they're not good. Okay, they're not good. I'll say that. They're not, they're not as bad as I thought they would be. 10 year old me would have been like, yeah, I'm going to egg their house. In all honesty though, I'm probably going to eat one and then throw it out. I'll put them at the bottom of throwing it out when I get home, which I know is a weird take, especially since apples, I'm like egging their house when I would rather eat an apple. Okay, you know, they're getting worse. You know how most things get better as you eat them? They made my tongue black. Yeah, they're not good. Yeah, no, they're getting worse by the second. And the aftertaste is just fucking foul. But still, I'm probably not going to egg their house for it. Because there was something enjoyable about it for like 10 seconds. Whereas all of these, I'm just not happy all around. All right. Ooh, controversial one here. Controversial one here, chat. What's up next? Candy corn. I would say this is honestly an even split. This is very similar to, like, people with arugula or that, wait, what is it called? Cilantro, not arugula. Where, like, some people love the taste of cilantro and others hate it. What I'll say about candy corn is the shape honestly makes me like it more or less. The little pumpkin-shaped candy corns are more enjoyable to eat than the corn-shaped candy corn. They're too sweet. Yeah, after a bit. What I was gonna say is that the first 10 candy corns are good. They're a little gummy, right? They're sweet. I eat them by the color. Oh, like you eat downward. Chat, would you eat white to yellow or yellow to white? They all taste the same. They're just dyed. But they're not bad. I'll say they get worse as you eat them and you start to feel like shit because you're just eating solidified sugar. Literally, that's all that's in it. Uh, obviously, like the sugary shit of it makes it good. But as you eat them, they get worse. But still, if the first 10 are good, that's still saying something. I would say they're useful for trades. Because you can use, you can use candy corn. People will take candy corn off your hands in the trading game. I would say, honestly, they're more useful than the Happy Cola gummy bears or the gummies. I think more people would trade you candy corn for other shit than, than the Happy Colas. Raisins. Where are we putting raisins? Because I like raisins. If it's Halloween, I don't know. Now, what I will say is I am rating base raisins, right? Just regular ass raisins. Yogurt covered raisins or chocolate covered raisins like Raisinettes, I would honestly say are in the tier of I actually like these. I don't know if you guys have ever had uh, like yogurt or chocolate covered raisins, but they're good. Like, they're really good. But regular... Regular raisins, especially in this, like, cardboard box format. And it gets all sticky, and it looks like somebody, like, took a dump. And you're, like, you're, like, shoving your whole, like, hand in the box to get them out. And then your hands are all gross. 
I'm not really a fan on that end. And since I'm rating regular raisins, I'm going to go with... I'm not going to throw them out, though. I know I'm going to eat them. Oh, this is the most backward-ass backward tier list. I'm not going to eat... I wouldn't throw them out, but they're not useful for trades. They're kind of in the middle here. Whereas I'd leave them at my house. I might put them in oatmeal one day, but I'm not trading them. No one's trading you raisins. So I would say they're here. I would still say they're better than black licorice, but they're in the throwing it out when I get home list. Mints. Specifically, these mints. Not the regular lifesaver mints that are hard. These are the mints that you can chew, which some people love. Like my girlfriend, Brooke, who is insane for that. Uh, but these are, in my opinion, they're the cheapest mints that you can buy. You can buy a box of these things for like five bucks. Do you see how it falls apart? If I'm eating, number one, this isn't candy. I'm going to say that. That's already making this worse. Number two, it's Christmas themed. Why are you giving me this on Halloween? Number three, these are the worst mints that you could possibly fucking give me. They're gross. They're gross. If I'm eating a mint, I want a mint that I can suck on. I don't want a mint that I'm chewing or dissolves in my mouth and tastes like weird. I'm egging their house. I would say they're worse than the gummy. No, I'd rather have the gummy hot dog. Mm, would I rather have these or the gummy hot dog? I'd rather have the gummy hot dog. I'd rather eat the gummy hot dog than I would these chewable mints because they're gross. I know that's a bad take to most people, but you also got to keep in mind, this is a winter themed mint. It's not a Halloween candy. The people that are giving you this forgot to go Halloween shopping and they're probably grandparents that are just fiddling with the shit they have in their house. Juice boxes. Fire. 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 Really depends what juice. Most of the time, I would say you're probably going to get apple juice. Most of the time, you're probably going to get apple juice. Because that's what people buy in big packs. But I mean, you know, you might get like an orange or a cranberry or some shit. But you're probably going to get one of these like... Either off-brand juice boxes or like a, a moats one. Now, juice boxes are actually insanely unhealthy. <laughs> Most people don't know that. It isn't added sugar, which is good. But it's still just extracting, like, basically most of the unhealthy shit from, from juices. Or from fruits. I would say I don't mind getting... Where are they? I don't mind getting juice boxes. Dude, we really need to have a candy up here. Right now, all we have is razor blades at the top. And then fruit snacks, animal crackers, and juice boxes. And then everything else is down bad. Right? I think this is mainly because these are the worst of the worst candies. These are the things that no one really wants. These are getting lumped into the worst treats because they're not candy. But in reality, they're not that bad. Double bubble bubble gum. The worst gum. Uh, loses flavor and gets hard in about 12 seconds. Should we see how many double bubbles I can fit in my mouth? One double bubble. I'm going to try to blow a bubble. Two double bubbles. Three double bubbles. And it's like a really low flavor bubble gum. And the aftertaste is very artificial when you stop chewing it. What am I at? What was that? Was that five? Yo, over, under, eight and a half. That was four, five, six double bubbles, seven double bubbles. <laughs> We're getting in risky territory here. What is that? Eight double bubbles, nine double bubble, ten double bubble. 11 double bubba, 12, 13 double bubba, 14 double bubba. This is getting dangerous. Should I stop? <laughs> Yo, that's where I gotta call it, bro. 
when I start drooling. <laughs> Yo. Where are y'all putting that? Double bubble bubble gum. It's gum. And it's a shitty gum. I'm gonna throw it out. I'm not gonna keep it. I know I'm not gonna keep it. S tier. I'll put it as useful for trades. Somebody might take it off my hands. If I have like five or six pieces. I'll say bottom of useful for trades. Now we're on to the hot candies. Hot tamales. Or tamales. And red hot. We'll do uh, hot tamales first. They're like, they look like Mike and Ike's. They actually might be made by the same company that makes Mike and Ike's, honestly. Except they're spicy. They're honestly a lot hotter than I remember. Bro, these are hot. They taste gross, though. I just think spicy candy is fucking dumb, right? It's not like putting, like, tahine or some shit on your, on your, like... Like, I see a lot of people put, like, tahine on guster, uh, gushers. That's not, like, spicy, right? But, like, hot tamales are hot candy. And I think spicy candy is just bad. And so when people give these out, I just think, I think that's stupid because they're disgusting, right? They're not, they're not gross in the sense of like, oh, I'm going to throw up from eating them. But they're disgusting in the sense of like, why would I ever want a spicy candy? Like I'm eating a goddamn pepper. Like that's not what I want in a candy, ideally. Same thing with mint candy, but the reason mint candy is not on this list is just because nobody really hands out, like, York peppermint patties on Halloween. Uh, and a lot of people like mint candy. That's more of an L take on my part when I say, like, mint candy's bad. Red Hots. I'm pretty sure Red Hots are more liked than Hot Tamales. I don't remember, but we'll see. They're also smaller, and you don't really chew on them. So they last longer. And I think that might be why people like them more. Is because they're like, it's just a box of hard candy. So it lasts a while. And the longevity of the candy makes it more valuable. I would actually say Red Hots are useful for trades. I would say they're less useful than Double Bubble. But I would say getting Red Hots is going to be something that people might trade for. I would say they're mid. I still wouldn't want them. But somebody would take them off your hand. So I got to put them there just because they have the sheer capability of lasting a while. Jelly beans. I added these. I added these because I honestly stand by the fucking take that jelly beans are disgusting. I don't know why people like them. I know there are a broad array of flavors. You're obviously not going to get a bag this big. You're going to get one of the mini snack bags of jelly beans. But like, yeah, I get that they have a lot of flavors and people like that. But jelly beans make me nauseous. And just eating all of them, like some people eat like three at once. The only way you're able to enjoy them is eating one by one. And if I'm going to eat something that's gummy-ish, I'd rather have Sour Patch Kids. If I get them, I'll eat them. Skunk flavor? That's not jelly beans. What is that? That's bean boozled. They don't have regular, they don't have skunk flavored jelly beans. I would say I don't mind it. I would say they might actually be more near the top of useful trades because people will take jelly beans, but I think they're bad. Just because whatever flavor it says it is, it's probably not going to taste like that. It's probably going to taste like some sort of indiscernible sugar. With like a hint of marshmallow or whatever flavor it claims to be. Now we are on to Laffy Taffy. I think I have to rate the worst rated flavor. I think many Laffy Taffies are good, okay? Laffy Taffy, like sour apple Laffy Taffy or like the strawberry... I might actually say I like getting these or I don't mind it. But the worst rated Laffy Taffy is Banana Laffy Taffy. Most people do not. A lot of you guys are saying Banana Hits. Now, I haven't had Banana Laffy Taffy since I was in my grandparents' laundry room years ago. And I ate one of these and I threw up. Now, whether or not I threw up because of this Laffy Taffy... I don't remember, but no, no.
No. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of... See, I know... Yeah, y'all are getting mad. I know y'all are getting mad. I don't dislike the green apple ones. I don't dislike the strawberry ones. But I haven't had a banana Laffy Taffy since I was like 10. And I it tastes exactly the same. It's bad. I If you gave me a banana Laffy Taffy... Honestly, I'd rather have a fucking toothbrush. Or hot tamales. Or the mints. Banana Laffy Taffy is, in my opinion, fucking foul. Now we're onto this thick-ass bag of a bunch of indiscernible candies. Actually, let's rate the the last non-candy things, which would be these. First off, popcorn. I'm not actually going to make the popcorn, but some people hand out, like, popcorn bags. Where would y'all put those? I would say I actually like getting popcorn. I, I know it's not candy, but if you give me a full-on sleeve bag of popcorn, I think that's pretty good. And you could technically combine that with other candies. If you get a bag of popcorn, you could heat that bitch up and put a bunch of M&Ms in it, and now you have chocolate popcorn, and that's fucking fire, right? Pretzels. I tried my hardest to find the Halloween-themed pretzels that people give out. I know people give out Halloween pretzels a lot. The, the ones that are in the shape of pumpkins and bats. I, I, I don't really, I don't really think I'd say I like getting pretzels. I wouldn't even say I don't mind it. I would say they're at the very bottom of useful trades. Because you can get rid of pretzels. If I'm really hungry, I might eat them. But, like, in my experience, I've usually waited until they're so stale that I can't eat them anymore. And then I just throw them out. But I'm not throwing that out them out immediately. Hot chocolate. I have a little baggie here. You'd normally be given something like this. Not a box. You'd be given a little baggie of hot chocolate. Whatever, whatever brand. This is Swiss Miss. Right? I would also say I like getting these. Hot chocolate is, it transitions perfectly into the Thanksgiving cold time, right? Halloween is usually like the end of like 60, 50 degree weather, depending on where you live, and then it gets much colder. So for the most part, getting given hot chocolate is either something that's enjoyable in a week or two after Halloween, or if anything, you can save it for a while, right? Hot chocolate's not really going to go bad, so you could keep it until it's, like, December and then use it. And then you'll sit there and be like, oh, yeah, this fucking rando guy that uh, was dressed as Michael Myers gave me this hot chocolate. You know, then you then you, you brew it up, you drink it, and you die because he put some sort of drug in it. But, uh, you know, you're going to be happy while you're drinking it. Now we're on to the last three candies. Dots, fruit chews, and Tootsie Rolls. A bunch of people said dots, so we'll rate dots first. Uh, this is actually the box that you would get, by the way. Uh, like, the exact box. I remember getting these a bunch of times. When you open up the box, there's how many? It really varies, but for the most part, you get, what? This many dots. So, two, four, six, seven dots in a little mini box. Right? You get you get this. Uh, sometimes you're lucky, right? And you get the flavors you like. Personally, I like the red flavor. It's honestly a pretty good gummy. I think red carries out of all of the colors. I think green, not that good, right? Comparably. Now I'm not gonna rate them higher than like any other candy that's not on this list, okay? Let me say, if they're in, I actually like getting these. That does not mean I'd rather have this over a fucking Reese's cup, right? I, I or, or I'd rather have this over a Kit Kat bar or a Twix bar or a Snickers bar or a Milky Way, right? There's many, many candies that are above this. But, and this is a big but, this is a list of the worst rated Halloween candy treats, right? Or treats. So, out of all of them, as of right now, I would be the happiest to get a box of dots. 
The only thing that's annoying about a bag of dots? That. It's like you're packing a fucking chill. All right, fruit chews are next. Uh, no specific flavor, but these were actually rated pretty poorly. I don't even know what flavor this is. I'm going to try and guess. Can y'all read the flavor? Cherry. It's a bad cherry. It kind of tastes like strawberry. For the most part, they're not that bad. And the vanilla ones, which aren't even fruit. I don't know why vanilla is in the fruit chew category, but it is. I would honestly rate vanilla pretty highly. Higher than the chocolate, which we're rating next. Higher than the OG Tootsie Roll. The vanilla fruit chew. If I'm just going off vanilla fruit chews, above dots, right? But I know that if you're given fruit chews, realistically, you're going to be getting a variety of, of fruit chew flavors. And the rest suck. Vanilla's the best by far. The others are probably maybe useful for trades at best. I would say this is at the top of the I don't mind it category. Last one. Tootsie Rolls. One of the most common things that you get on Halloween. Very common. At least when I used to go trick-or-treating. I don't know what motherfuckers are handed out in 2023, right? I'm talking about shit. When I went trick-or-treating, what, in 2013, 2012? Back in 2012, dude, bitches were handing out Tootsie Rolls like they were fucking hotcakes. Everybody had Tootsie Rolls. The, the long ones, the short stubby ones that I just ate, and then the bars. What I don't like about them is they don't taste like chocolate. It tastes like a weird imitation of what chocolate should taste like. I'm going to describe chocolate to a guy. He's going to describe what I said to another dude who's going to describe it to fucking 10 other dudes. That last guy is going to make a fucking Tootsie Roll. It's not awful, right? I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm going to egg somebody's house if they give me a fucking Tootsie Roll. It's useful for trades. I would honestly say it's maybe more useful than a fucking Whopper. Probably not because you're only... It's one versus three because the least amount you could get on Whoppers is three. But... They're useful, right? I You can use them to trade. Am I going to be happy about getting them? No. Am I going to eat them? Maybe. I'd rather get them over jelly beans. So I'm going to put them there. Do we want to move anything in this list? Right now, we have... I actually like these as dots, popcorn, hot chocolate, and razor blades. I don't mind it as fruit chews, mainly the vanilla flavor. Welch's fruit snacks, animal crackers, juice boxes, Tootsie Rolls, and Jelly Belly Belly, uh, Jelly Belly, Jelly Beans. Useful for trades, Whoppers, Candy Corn, Happy Cola Bears, uh, or Happy Cola Gummies, Double Bubble Bubble Gum, Red Hots, Pretzels, throwing it out as Smarties, no name hard candies, raisins, and black licorice. Egging their house is Pretzels, Circus Peanuts, Gummy Hot Dogs. Mints, hot tamales, a toothbrush, Laffy Taffy, specifically the banana flavor, which just drags it, and then apples. I think move Laffy Taffy up. Okay, I will do at most two moves. I am fine with moving this up because Laffy Taffy banana is disgusting. But if you give me any other flavor Laffy Taffy, maybe not grape, but if you give me sour apple or strawberry, I would say they might be useful for trades. And so for that reason, I'm going to throw them in the middle of throwing it out when I get home. Because two of the flavors, I'm egging their house. Two of them, useful for trades. One other move. Where do we want to move? Move Whoppers up. I kind Now that I'm seeing the list, I kind of do want to move Whop. I'm going to make three. I'm going to make two moves. Thoughts. Now that I'm seeing the list, I'm trying to compare everything to itself. I would rather have Whoppers than a juice box and a Tootsie Roll. And I would say jelly beans, uh, I would be more unhappy about. Move razor blades up. Okay. 
Now, I think that's the complete list. That's much better. That's much better. God, is there anything else I would want to move? I think this is complete. Raisins. I would rather have raisins than Laffy Taffy. See, moving some... Like, yeah, there might be some stuff within a row that would move. But I think the rows they're put in are the correct rows. Obviously, there are some things within this that I might move up or down. Like, I'd probably rather have pretzels than double bubble. Or some of the shit. But I think the row itself is, is fair. W list. That was fun. All right. I will include this list in the YouTube uh, description tab for people that want to rate it. Just kind of as like a little outro here. Uh, so if you want to rate this yourself, uh, you can, or with your friends, I'll link it down below. Uh, and you could rate it. But once once again, thank you to tune in for, for the little Joe Bart Halloween special. <laughs>